Hey everybody, and thank you for coming to my channel tonight. I am doing a twin flame and separation reading uh, in light of the full moon in Virgo. We are experiencing timeline shifts and energy shifts with this new or this full moon. I'm sorry. Um, so we're just going to check out what your twin is up to. I'm using two different decks. Uh, the divine masculine will be represented by the tarot of Illuminati. The, uh, Divine Feminine will be represented with the Morgan Greer, and I am going to be uh, clarifying with the uh, Future Predictive deck of the After Tarot. So, let's see where our Divine Masculine are in uh, this connection. All right. Where is our Divine Masculines at and what are they doing? Where are they coming from? All right. They are in the energy of the Sun card. So uh, being enlightened by the Divine, trying to get the Divine Masculine into um, the right alignment with the two of you, trying to get them in the right path. Um, so the two of yours... Uh, Paths can come together. The Divine Feminine, where is she coming from? All right, the lovers, a space of love, heart space, um, keeping um, up with the healing and the dealing with all the emotions. Um, the Divine uh, Feminine is trying to lead the way for the, uh, the coming together, the union of these two energies. Living in love. And the Divine Masculine will be living in light. The two together make the perfect Divine combination. So where are the Divine Masculine are now? Where is the Divine Masculine now? Thank you. They are currently chained and bound to somebody who they are uh, connected to energetically. Whether this be uh, through marriage or uh, a karmic partner. They are currently, right now, in the energy of um, the devil. All right, and where is our divine feminine now? Okay. Well, there's a lot here. I'm going to take the two that fell on the ground or on the table. Um, the divine feminine is moving in the direction of her own spiritual path, her own journey, uh, and moving away from all the heartache, the rough waters. Some of you divine feminine could be getting out of relationships that aren't serving you spiritually. That is not for your greatest good. But both these cards are both cards of letting your internal spirit, your internal guide, your inner voice, um, lead the way the, uh, spirit guide or the, um, internal voice, uh, however you want to phrase it, they always steer the ship in the six of swords. So allowing your inner guide to bring you to that spiritual place where the two of you can come together. Spirit's advice for our divine masculine. Spirit's advice for our divine masculine. All right. Spirit's vo or, uh, advice for the divine masculine out there is to lead with your heart, to allow your heart space to um, lead the way, to find that eternal or um that unconditional love for yourself and for your, um, for yourself, your divine feminine, just really lead your life with love. That's simple as that for the advice, advice for a divine feminine. What is our advice for a divine feminine spirit? 
Spirit's advice for a divine feminine is to lay the burden down. You don't have to carry this whole thing on your shoulders. Let it go. Lift it up. Give it to God and let the outcome be as it may. Um, let the universe, let spirit, let source, however you want to um, look at it, let the universe take some of this heavy burden off your shoulders um, because there's no reason to worry. There's no reason to fret. This is going to come into a uh, union once again. What is uh, the divine masculine's outside interference or influence? Yeah, so um, in the divine masculine's outside world right now around them, they are talking them out of moving forward in their heart space. They are trying to keep them stuck, trying to keep them down, trying to keep them um, from moving forward and following their heart, trying to um, keep them stuck. Uh, the divine feminine's outside influence is communication. Uh, they are wanting to communicate with the divine masculine. They're wanting to open up this channel whether it be um, meeting in a different realm or whether it be in this world, but their outside influence is their spirit. Their, their energy is wanting to move forward and connect with the divine masculine. Where this is headed for the divine masculine. The queen of swords. Um, needing to cut away from somebody. Needing to cut away uh, from the situation that they are currently in, cut away from that bond that this devil has a hold of them. Where this is headed for the divine feminine, leading with her heart. Um, as always, the divine feminine, uh, unconditional love. Um, no matter what has happened in the past, the welcoming back of the love of the union could be dealing with a Virgo. I don't know why I just looked at that. But the overall outcome of the Divine Masculine in the next two weeks of this full moon energy. Whoa. Wishes coming true. Um, especially if your Divine Feminine is a, a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Strong energy. Um, wishing, praying, and hoping to come together with this vibrant, beautiful, confident, successful uh woman or divine feminine that lives in her heart, wears her heart on her sleeve and goes to bat for, for the divine masculine. This is some strong energy in the next two weeks with this full moon in Virgo. The overall outcome for our divine feminine in the next two weeks. Oops. Equally as strong manifesting a happy, a happy, uh, situation. This is celebration, happiness, laughs, fun. And this is manifesting that using the tools she has learned along the way to um, create the reality that she seeks to bring from the uh, spiritual and into the material, the love that this two of you share and shared with spirit that makes our three cups, the divine masculine, the divine feminine, and the divine, uh, the uh, tr holy trinity, um, most definitely just as powerful for our divine feminine. The Empress also fell out, birthing a new uh, reality. So with the after tarot, let's see what uh, let's see what is being clarified. So where the divine masculine is now is the devil. Where is the devil leading to? Why is the devil here for our? Divine Masculine, and what is the outcome of where they are now? The Page of Pentacles. They're needing to break free out of this uh, connection for a lot of them because they are bound and tied to this person legally, um, long-term standing commitments um, because of children. There are children involved, and that's making it harder for them to break that bond. <clears throat> What about the Divine Feminine? Why is the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords here? Where is that leading them to? Where is that inner guide taking our Divine Feminine? Moving them forward. Moving them to healing. Moving them to the star. The chariot always leads to the star card. Um, but this is taking their own cup and moving forward. I mean, if this doesn't say everything... I don't know what does moving forward, following their divine guidance, 
um, because as we know, um, and maybe you don't know, but the divine masculine follows the divine feminine. They are the, they are the one that sets the path. They have to walk the path first for the divine masculine to follow. The divine feminine heals her heart and worries about finances later. The divine masculine works on his finances and worries about his heart later. So while you guys are moving towards healing, um, that final stage of healing, uh, you're, you're setting the way you're setting the path, the trend for your divine masculine to follow a lot of divine feminine live in fear that if they move forward, that their divine masculine is not going to find them. Their divine masculine is not going to come to back to them or, um, not going to choose them or however it fits, but we are direct mirrors of each other. So in order for your divine masculine to move towards you, to move forward, to move ahead, to uh, move towards the connection, the divine feminine has to set out first. They have to, they have to um, <clears throat> make a path for the divine masculine to follow. If you stay stuck in your energy and wait for this person, you'll wait forever. You have to move forward. When you move forward, that divine masculine moves forward towards you and you will um, meet up at the same place, but you have to, you have to, um, show them how and where to go. If you stay stuck waiting for them, they stay stuck separated from you. So move forward, take that cup of yours, move to the star card and heal and they will follow. All right. Let's see what other card I wanted to Spirits advice, outside influence. All right. Overall outcome. Why is the nine of cups here for the divine masculine's overall outcome? What are his wishes? He's wishing to become the man, the person, the divine masculine. I say man just because it's representative of uh, the male energy, but as we know, we have both. So whatever side resonates with you, um, apply it there. But the divine masculine, where he's headed, where he's going, um, the divine masculine is represented by the emperor. Um, the emperor is the highest vibration, uh, card in the deck, the emperor and the empress, the empress came out in the divine feminine side as the overall outcome. The divine masculine's overall outcome is wishing, hoping, and praying not only to live in the vibration that he um, is meant to, but he is wanting to be your divine masculine. He, his prayers are being answered. He is able to step into that role and to take on the power that comes with it to create the reality that the two of you um, are wanting, wishing for wishes that are coming true and they are going to step into their power. Their other <clears throat> card that came out for their overall outcome is the queen of wands. Why is the queen of wands here? Where is this leading to? Where is the queen of wands leading to spirit? Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness. I could not make this up if I tried. Where is this leading to? A four of wands commitment, a solid foundation. I'm sorry. I'm so itchy right now. This is my twin flame union card. This is going into where this is headed to is a commitment, a strong foundation, a commitment with the woman or the person of their dreams woman, man, whatever. I mean, come on. This cannot get more better for an outcome for this group of you. I'm sorry. My nose is so itchy. <laughs> All right. Let's see where the divine feminine's outcome is headed. Why is a magician here for the divine feminine's outcome? I'm still like blown away by that four of wands with the emperor, both twin flame cards for me. And then the nine of cups and the whoa, queen. 
All right, why is the magician here for the queen or for the divine feminine? The Eight of Cups. Walking away from the old you, manifesting the new you, manifesting the new life, the new uh, situation, leaving the old ways of thinking behind. You have to let go of that old programming. You have to move in your own truth, move forward, set the trend, set, uh, make the path, allow the divine masculine to follow you. You are manifesting this connection into reality. So, I mean, the energy I feel right now is just absolutely amazing. Wow. Okay. I'm not going to take them because I didn't call for them, but why is the three of cups here for the divine feminine? Oh, way too many. Oh my God. My nose is so itchy. <laughs> awesome. Why is the three of cups here for a divine feminine? The seven of cups. Being able to, uh, being able to discern reality from illusion, from the real, from the fake. You're going to find celebration in the fact that the true, your true twin flame is coming. This is, uh, the options that are all around you, but only one option is real. Only one option is true love. And you're going to celebrate when you find that your true love, your twin flame is here to celebrate with you, to um, make a formal commitment, to come together and create this beautiful life together. Why is the Empress here? Whoa. My God, cars are flying out way too much. I just can't take all these. I'll be here all night. All right. One card for the Empress. Why is the Empress here? Thank you. You have the keys. You know what it's going to take to create this world. You know what it's going to take to bring this union together. The um, high priestess in this deck has the keys in her hand. She knows what it's going to take. She knows what to do. She has the keys. She has the knowledge of the divine. She has the power to create this reality. She has the power to birth this creation, this, this relationship. And this life. The Page of Swords also came out. Having the courage to speak the truth. Even when it goes against what everybody wants to hear. You have the courage to speak the truth. You have the knowledge of the divine. You have the help of your angels. You have the universe at your back. And the two of you are going to create this beautiful reality together. So amazing. Bottom of your deck. Gosh, that light is really glaring today. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords, the divine truth. This is God, universe, source, however you want to look at it. This is him handing over the truth, handing over the enlightenment, handing over the knowledge, the wisdom, and the power of the divine at your back. I am going to pull romance angel cards real fast just because I'm being drawn to all right divine feminine and divine masculine in the next two weeks in this Virgo full moon romance angels what can they expect what advice can you give them and where do they go from here all right Very important. Stay optimistic about your love life. If you don't believe they're coming back, if you don't believe you're coming together, then it isn't ever going to happen because we believe our, or we think our reality. So what we think we create, positive thinking and faith in this connection will bring the romance of a lifetime for you. Let your friends help. Calling your angels. Let them help you. Let them guide you. But the most important part of that is 
when you ask for the help of your angels, you have to follow what they're guiding you to do. That's what they're there to do is to help you, to guide you and let go of control issues. Um, you have to allow this situation to unfold naturally because you don't, you can't control um, when and where this happens because that's what the divine is for. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are worth exploring. It's time to retreat, disconnect from the world, disconnect from what everyone else is telling you is possible, what, what everyone else is telling you what isn't possible. Um, disconnect from the world, retreat, sit with yourself and manifest this into um, your reality. The two of you are walking separate paths of healing, but the two of you are going to come together um, when that healing is completed. So when you heal, your divine masculine heals. So walk in that healing light and move forward. Um, it's, it's so important that you move forward. Do not stay stuck in where you're at. Make the effort. Take the steps you're guided to take. And let's get one more. Because your angels are trying to guide you into a reunion. You have to listen though. Ugh. Sorry about that. Okay, one more card for our divine masculine and feminine, please. Separation. The two of you are in separation by now or right now. Obviously, we know that. I'm gonna call I'm gonna pull one more just because this is a twin flame and separation reading. So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Let go. Let God. Um, when you let go um, and start enjoying life, your vibration is going to um, attract that person back to you. Start enjoying life. Don't put your life on hold. Because you're in separation. Because as we see from the cards today for this group of you, you guys have an amazing connection coming in in the next couple of weeks. Um, if you, if not in the material, uh, most definitely in the in the spiritual, will you feel this person within the next couple of days when um, it goes to zero degrees? Especially, um, I know for U.S. Central Time, that's at 11:58 uh, today in the morning. Um, but you'll have to look it up at your, in your time. Um, if you're not in us central standard time. So, all right, guys, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, stay positive, uh, and continue that path of healing. If you're the divine feminine, if you're the divine masculine, uh, live in your heart space and start following that path that you're meant to take, that you're guided to take. Because your angels and your inner guide is speaking to you. So make sure you listen. All right, guys. I send you healing, love, light, and God bless.